Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Autocar India's Quick News, your weekly roundup of all those launches, all the big scoops and all the hot news in the world of automobiles. But before we begin, do remember to hit our subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos. Let's kick things off straight with the big news maker this week. Hyundai has taken the wraps of the third generation i10. It will be called the Grand i10 Neos here in India and it will have its global debut and the India launch on August 20th. Let's have a quick look at what we know already. The new Grand i10 Neos will not replace the current generation car but will instead coexist, slotting in between the current gen Grand i10 and the i20. Bookings for the new car have opened for 11,000 rupees and the Neos will be available in 10 variants with a mix of BS6 petrol and diesel 1.2 litre engines, both of which will get a 5 speed manual or a 5 speed AMT gearbox. In terms of overall design, the Neos takes a page out of the Centro. For more information on the Grand i10 Neos, check out our video which has a lot more detail right here on our YouTube channel. Let's begin with the launches this week and even though the auto industry is in a bit of a rut, those new cars and bikes just keep coming. First up, it's a more affordable variant of the Nissan Kicks SUV. Nissan has launched the new XC Base variant of the Kicks at 9,89,000 rupees. The new base model Nissan Kicks XC gets all the safety features available in the XL and also gets a dual DIN audio system with a Bluetooth connectivity option and four speakers. While sales of the Nissan SUV have been poor, as compared to some of its peers, the launch of the new base model variant might attract a new set of buyers, including the fleet market. The new entry-level XC is significantly cheaper by 1.2 lakh rupees than the next variant in the lineup, the XL. Similarly, the top spec variant too is about 1 lakh rupees cheaper than before. Now the MG Hector and the Kia Seltos are really shaking things up in that sub-20 lakh rupee SUV segment and to counter that charge, Hyundai has launched a special variant of the Creta, it's called the Sports Edition. The Hyundai Creta Sports Edition, not to be confused with the Sports spelt with a Z variant that the Korean automaker has on its smaller cars, is based on the SX variant of the Creta. It will only come with two colour options, an all black and a white with a contrasting black roof. The special edition will also be a manual gearbox offering only. Editions include a sunroof, special darkened headlamps and a dark chrome finish on the grille, amongst others. For more details on this special edition, do remember to visit our website autocarindia.com. Now, Benelli has finally launched the long-awaited Leoncino 500 in India. Let's have a look at the price and, of course, what it offers. Benelli India has launched the Leoncino 500 at a price point of 4,79,000 rupees. The scrambler style motorcycle has been highly anticipated and is available in two color schemes, steel grey and Leoncino red. Benelli has already started accepting bookings for the bike at 10,000 rupees on its website and is offering a 5 year unlimited kilometer warranty on the motorcycle too. At the price point that it is being offered and with the retro styling that it has, the Leoncino has no direct rivals in India. Now, race liveries have been quite common in the two-wheeler space with Suzuki, Yamaha and Honda dabbling in it for a while and Suzuki's launched another one. It's the MotoGP edition of the Suzuki Jixer SF250. Suzuki Motorcycles India has launched the new Jixer SF250 MotoGP edition priced at 1,71,000 rupees, an increase of a mere 800 rupees over the standard model. The MotoGP edition of the bike is painted in the same colours that adorn the 2019 Suzuki GSX RR MotoGP race bike. Mechanically, the bike remains exactly the same. Now, every week we bring you some news from the EV space in India and this week it's no different. Mahindra will launch three EVs in the near future. Here are the details. The first EV from Mahindra will be the KUV100 Electric which will launch by late 2019 followed by the electric XUV300 sometime in 2020. There will also be a Mahindra badge electric version of the Ford Aspire compact sedan likely to be launched in 2021. While all of Mahindra's EVs so far are converted from internal combustion engine versions, Mahindra has also confirmed that it is developing an EV platform that will spawn ground up electric vehicles. These new EVs are slated to make it a production in the next three or three and a half years. On the Tata Tigor and Tiago JTP are all set to get some minor updates. Let's take a quick look. The Tata Tiago and Tigor JTP will soon get features that will match them to the top spec variants of the standard non JTP versions. This will include the 7 inch Harman touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Both cars will also get a power folding option on the ORVMs, while the Tiago JTP will now get a climate control system as standard. Mechanically, the two cars will remain the same. That said, with very poor sales of the JTP twins, it remains to see if these upgrades will make them a more appealing offering to Indian buyers. 
Honda Motorcycles and Scooters India Limited has issued a recall for 50,000 scooters and bikes in India with regards to a brake issue. Let's have a look at what vehicles are affected. Honda has issued a recall for the CBS equipped Honda Aviator, the Activa 125, the Grazia and the CB Shine in India. This is being done to address an issue with the front brake master cylinder that could hinder the rotation of the front wheel and even lead to a complete jam in severe cases. The vehicles affected were built between February 4th and July 3rd, 2019 and if found affected, parts will be replaced by Honda free of charge. And finally in our weekly eye candy, it's the achingly beautiful Pagani Huayra BC Roadster. The Pagani Huayra BC Roadster will cost about 2.8 million pounds or about 23.4 crore rupees without taxes of course and will be restricted to just 40 units. The BC Roadster as we mentioned already is extremely beautiful with an array of composite materials used in its construction and weighs in at just 1250 kilos, 30 kilos less than the regular Roadster. Power will still come from the same AMG sourced twin turbo V12 that now makes a whopping 802 horsepower. And with that, we wrap up this week's news. Do remember to leave your opinions in the comment section below and we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.